Hi, all my preschool friends. It is wonderful to be with you today, and welcome to some of our new preschool friends who are now part of the preschool classroom at church. It is time to start up Sunday school again. I hope you've had wonderful summers, and I'm so excited to see you here today. I'm Miss Susie, and today we're just going to have fun getting to know each other. Even though you're over there on the other side of that screen and I'm here, we're going to try and get to know each other. And when we meet for Sunday school each week, we're going to start each time talking about things that make us happy and things that make us sad because we want to lift those up to God. So we're going to start with talking about things that make us happy. And you might have brought something to the video today that you're holding or that you have that makes you happy. Well, I brought today, I brought pictures of my kids. This is Samantha and this is Walker and they make me happy. So I brought them today and I hope there are lots of things that make you happy. Now, I wonder if there's anything that's making you sad. Sometimes we're sad, and that's okay. And we can talk to God about that. And so if there's anything that makes you sad, we're gonna lift that up to God. And I don't know that I'm sad. I just hope people are well and are staying healthy. That's what I hope. I don't want anyone to be sick. So what we're gonna do is if you have something in your hand that you're really happy about, like I've got my picture with my kids, I'm going to lift it up and we're all going to say, thank you, God. Can you all say that? Thank you, God, for things that make me happy. For things that make me happy. Then you're going to say, thank you, God. Everybody say that. Thank you, God for taking care of things that make me sad. For taking care of things that make me sad. We love you, God. We love you, God. Amen. So every time we get together, we're always going to talk about things that make us happy and things that make us sad. And we're going to lift those up to God because God gives us so many wonderful things. And so we have to thank him. And then God helps us when we have some things that make us sad. So we'll do that every time we get together. Now, I know it's going to be a little hard because I can't hear what you're saying, but I know we're gonna have some fun getting to know each other. So I'm gonna ask you some questions and you can, are gonna either shout them out or you can whisper them. The first one we're gonna shout out and it is, what is your favorite color? What is your favorite color? So you can shout it out. I'm wearing mine, blue. I wonder what yours is now. What is one of your favorite things to eat? Favorite things to eat, we're gonna whisper. We're gonna whisper. I'm gonna say pizza, pizza. How oh, I'm wondering, what is one of your favorite things to play? What do you like to play? Maybe it's a toy you like to play with or maybe a game. Can you whisper your favorite thing to play? I like to play outside. I like to play sports outside like soccer and football. I like to do and now the last thing, do you have any brothers or sisters? And I'm gonna have you hold up your hand. So if you don't have any brothers or sisters, you just keep your hands down or you can go like this. If you have one brother or sister or two or three or four or maybe even five, 
You hold up how many brothers and sisters? I have two. I have a brother and a sister. Very good, my friends. Now we're going to play a game. We're going to play a game called Jesus Says. Now, some of you might know this as Simon Says, but we're going to call it Jesus Says. So how our game works. So for this game, we're going to have to stand on up. And if Jesus says to do it, then we do it. If Jesus doesn't say it, then we don't do it. So here, I'm going to show you how. So if Jesus says, touch our head, Jesus says, touch our head, we touch our head. But if I just say, touch your knees, then we don't do that one. Okay, so if Jesus says, touch your head, we do that one. If he doesn't, if just Miss Susie says, touch your knees, we don't do that one. So we're just going to try it. All right, so we're going to start. Jesus says, touch your head. Jesus says, touch your nose. Jesus says, touch your ears. Touch your knees. Uh-oh, Jesus didn't say that one. We should be back up here at our ears. Did I catch you? Let's try one more. Jesus says, touch our nose. Jesus says, touch our head. Jesus says, touch our elbows. Jesus says, touch our knees. Touch your nose. Uh-oh, Jesus didn't say that one. We should be back down on our knees. We will play that different Sundays we get together. But that is our game called Jesus Says that we can play. All right, friends, now I need you to go get your special craft that we have for today. It might look like this or it might look like a rainbow and a sun, or it might look like a cross. So I want you to go get that. Moms and dads can help you. And you're also gonna get, it's a little black magnet that should have been in your bag. So it looks like this. So go get your craft and your magnet and you can meet me right back here. All right. I hope, my friends, you have your craft and your magnet because we're going to make it together. And it doesn't matter which one you have. Um, if you have the cross or the flowers or the rainbow, you are going to get all your pieces out for our craft. And there should be two or three pieces for your craft. And we're going to have to look at our pictures so we know how to put our craft together. Say, I have this one here, and this says, trust in the Lord forever. The Lord, that's another name for God or Jesus. And so we know that we can trust Jesus. He will always take care of us. And some of the other ones say, I will trust, I got, in God I will trust, I will not be afraid. See, we don't have to be afraid because we have God. And another one says, trust the Lord with all your heart. So I wanted you to do this craft because I wanted you to remember that important thing that we can trust God. So now I have the one with flowers. So you sort of have to pop out your flowers. See, like there's the red flower. And then there's a purple flower. So mine, I have to pop out. I'm not sure. I know with the cross one, I don't think there's anything you need to pop out. But I'm going to get all my flowers out first. So I have an orange one, I have a purple one, and I have a red one. And I am going to put them on the green part over here. And this is the fun part. So on the back of my flower, it's like a white piece of paper. And I'm going to take that white off the flower and then my flower is going to be sticky it already has the sticky stuff so i take the white off and then i can put my flower i put my flower right there my orange one i put my orange one right there 
Oh, I think I'm gonna take my purple one right now. now. Some of you might have your crosses and you'll put your crosses on top of each other. And some of you might have the rainbow with the sun and the birdie. You're gonna put those on. So now I'm gonna put my purple one on up here. Sort of matching it. I tried to match it a little with the green, but it's really okay. If not, you can just pop it right on there. And now I'm going to take my red one. See, I'm taking my white paper off on the back, taking that off. And then I'm going to add my red one up here at the top. So I have my flowers on and I'm reminded trust in the Lord forever so all the time when I might be scared when I might be sad even when I'm happy we can trust in God he is with us always now I'm going to add my bumblebee there's sort of a spot at the top here but you can really put him wherever you want so there I have my special craft to remind me to trust in the Lord forever. And what I want us to do with this is we're gonna put, remember that black piece? So that's our magnet. And we have one more piece that should have been with our set. It's this white piece. And it has that sticky stuff on both sides. So first I'm gonna take off the white sheet from one side and put my magnet on. See, I can I'm gonna squeeze it. Use my muscles and squeeze it. And then I'm gonna take the back side off. And then I'm gonna put it on the back side of my new craft that I just made. And I'm gonna squeeze it, squeeze it using my muscles. So see, it's on the back. And now I can hang it up where I can put a magnet. Some people can on their refrigerators, mirrors, different places like that, because I always want us to see this, and mom and dad can read it to you every morning, and then you'll probably remember that this one says, trust in the Lord forever, because the Lord is always with you, watching over you, protecting you, loving you. I don't want you ever to forget that. And one way we're going to remember that, remember I told you how the Lord is another name for Jesus? We're going to sing a song called Jesus Loves Me. Now I know some of you know it, but for my new friends, you can just join us in the parts that you know or just listen and we'll sing it each time and you'll start to learn our song Jesus Loves Me. So we're going to sing our song. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. Don't ever forget, friends, Jesus loves you so, so much. We're going to finish today with a prayer. We put our hands way up in the air, and then we clap them together, and we say a prayer. You can listen to this prayer, and then you can join me on the Amen. Dear Jesus, thank you for loving us all the time. Don't let us ever forget. We love you, God. And everybody says together, Amen. It was so great being with you all today, my friends. I hope you have a wonderful day, and we'll see you next time.